What's up guys, my name is Marcel Flores, welcome to my YouTube channel One Dapper Street and welcome to today's video where we're going to take a look at one of the most essential fall trends this season and that's corduroy. Corduroy, and just a tiny little bit of history here, is actually not a fabric. Corduroy can be either made of cotton or of wool and the word itself comes from cord and duroy. Cord because it looks like a bunch of cords that are woven together and duroy is actually a cloth that was used in England in the 18th century. Really durable so that's where the word comes from. It's a very warm and a very durable fabric so we've seen it in pants, jackets and shirts but since it's trending we've seen it in a lot more silhouettes so let's take a look at those today. Let's get started with a classic though, a trucker jacket. I think this is one of the easiest ways to integrate that into your wardrobe. This tan colored corduroy jacket is from H&M really affordable and I think it's a really nice piece to have in your closet. You can use it as a top layer, you can use it as a mid layer and really have fun combining it. I think just the structure that this corduroy fabric offers is just a nice aesthetic addition to just, you know, having like a plain jacket. It adds a little bit of surface interest which I always think is a nice thing to play with. If you want to invest in a piece like this but you're a little too worried that it might get too cold wherever you are or you want it for the later parts of the fall, this jacket is also from H&M. It is lined in a faux shielding fabric. It's virtually the same thing. Very similar fit, a tiny bit relaxed but still slim enough to rock in a modern way. But the color here is more on the side of a forest green. You'll see corduroy often used with earth tones just because traditionally it was used that way and it still has that, that fall connotation that just easily goes with the earth tones as well. I love this jacket personally because it's easily thrown up top a long sleeve shirt or a Henley, something like that. Put on a pair of jeans, a pair of boots and you're ready to pop outside as long as it's not the depths of winter. But for right now, we're still talking about fall, so I think this is a very easy addition to a wardrobe. Okay, now this one, we're gonna do a quick test with you guys. I'm gonna put this on as I'm talking to you. And I want you to make your mind up about whether or not you like this coat in a corduroy. Huh? Huh? You like it? Fits good? Looks nice? If you just, in your head, answered yes to this question, you can from now on, never say that men shouldn't wear women's clothes. <laughs> because this is a women's trench coat that I found at Urban Outfitters yesterday. I saw it on the mannequin and I was like, oh my god, that is beautiful. Tried it on, this is a size large, and for $100, it was mine. Uh, so now I have a women's trench coat in corduroy, but I figured it was perfect to include in today's video for you guys just to show you another way that you can integrate corduroy into your wardrobe. Whether or not you have worn women's clothing is at this point irrelevant. I think if you like this, make sure to check it out on the website. All the links for the pieces that I'm showing you guys today, as always, are down below. What I love about this for one is the color because once again we're in that earth tone range and it's a really nice olive green. Then we have these natural buttons which are a nice subtle contrast. And overall, I really like the silhouette. In women's wear, you have a little bit more of a slim silhouette, which just works out perfectly for me. It's got a nice little taper through the waist, so I really like the way this trench coat looks, especially when you wear it open. Next up, and another classic, I think, is a corduroy shirt. This one is from Uniqlo. You've hopefully seen and or heard me talk about the corduroy selection at Uniqlo. I think it's impeccable. It's a really versatile piece in any wardrobe, I think, because once again, you can use it as a top layer and just unbutton it, maybe wear a long sleeve underneath, but obviously this can replace your dress shirt. You can make you look a little bit more casual. You can use it as a mid layer, wear it with jeans, with suit pants, chinos. There's just a lot of options here and it's gonna offer a little bit more warmth than your average cotton dress shirt does just because of the corduroy itself. This light gray colorway is obviously just one of the very many options that you have at Uniqlo alone. Many of them are a little bit more of a pop of color, like a darker red, for example. So you don't just have to stick to the earth tones. You can definitely have a little bit more fun and use some neutrals. That's really up to you and see what works best with the pieces that you've got in your closet. Almost the same color we've got, once again from Uniqlo, these corduroy pants. Really nice slim fit, like just fit really well off the rack. They have a nice drawstring on the inside right here so you can adjust them to your waist since they don't come in 31, 32, 33 sizes but rather they come in small, medium and large. I'm wearing a medium where I usually am a 31 and while that might be just a tiny bit big, I use the drawstrings and that works really well. Corduroys can easily replace any pair of chinos in your closet, also probably any pair of jeans. If you guys want to check out a video I did 
a few weeks ago where I was talking about alternatives to jeans in general. Make sure to check that out up here. But corduroys was one of them. I think they're just a really, really nice essential in any man's closet in the fall. Now it's time to take a look at some accessories that come in corduroy, like this fisherman's hat. This one is from Urban Outfitters. It's not currently in stock anymore, because I think I bought this about a year ago. But I really, really like this. I think this is where you'll see it traditionally used, but less traditionally in a baseball cap like this from Zara. Zara, I think, also doesn't have this in stock right now anymore, but this is just to prove that you'll find these pieces pretty much all over in the stores that you probably already shop at. One thing to note is that you probably shouldn't overdo it. So if you're already wearing any of these corduroy pieces, probably ditch the corduroy or a hat, I think you might be doubling up in a way that's just a little bit too much. The only exception I'll make to that would be a combination of two accessories like this baseball cap that you just saw and this corduroy sling bag from H&M. I think both of them, since they're in a similar color range and they have a similar corduroy pattern, I think they go well together, but again, this might already be too much for you and I completely understand if it is. As always, you gotta choose what's right for you. I'm just here trying to show you guys a few of the options that you have on a daily basis. But I think this is a nice combination, especially actually with what I'm wearing right now. If you're interested, I'm wearing Converse boots. These jeans are from Club Monaco and the shirt is from Uniqlo. So I'll put the links for that down below as well. But I have one more thing to talk about with you guys, and that's a little bit of a teaser. We are launching our holiday collection with Ankari Flores very, very soon. And in that holiday collection, we have corduroy sneakers. I am beyond excited to have these launched because I just want to wear them already and I'm not really allowed to before we launch. But these are not actually corduroy. This is a debossed suede. So this is a really, really luxury version of the corduroy aesthetic. And we have them in this colorway, in this silhouette, our classic Saturday sneaker, so I wanted to show you guys these. But we also make them in our Sunday sneaker in this navy color. So, like I said, they're not available yet, but I wanted to show you guys because obviously it went well with today's video. And you can shop them very soon. As of November 1st, they'll be available for sale. So. That's just a little something to get excited about. That's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope. Let's take a look at some of the comments from a very particular video today, and that is how to appear smarter and be more confident. There's a few things I want to say about that video, so let me find a few comments, let's read those out loud, and then let's uh, explore what I want to say to that. Because um, for me, that title in, its, in itself, I think it was misunderstood by some of you a little bit. For one, I'm never going to suggest you just try to look smarter and not actually try to become a more intelligent, more well-rounded, more culturally open person. For me, that's more so, what is your first impression? like? Somebody will look at you and will make somewhat of a snap judgment. That's sadly a matter of fact with our society. So what I was alluding to is more so how you can make that impression the smartest it can be. Whether or not that's important to you is up to you. And I'm definitely not saying that that is any more important than actually working on your intellect. But I just wanted to clarify that. Second, being more confident, that is something I won't really argue about because I know that's what it did for me. I know that because I started dressing better and caring about the way I look and the way I presented myself, I actually worked on my self-confidence. So that's why it was a little bit upsetting to hear a few of you guys taking that completely the wrong way. And, you know, not necessarily believing that because I know it's true because I've really went through that myself. But let's look at some of the comments specifically. I want to go all the way down first for um, some of the little bit more outside the box comments. Like, I'm sick of these fashion YouTubers using clickbait titles just to sell ads. You're no better than the others, said JB. So I think I already just covered that one. Guys, I've been doing YouTube for two years now and I've lived in the public eye to a certain extent for a while. I've grown a lot, but sometimes I just wish I could tune out those little people that don't see the full, don't see the full picture. Like, I'm not trying to clickbait you and I'm hoping that you guys, at least the majority of you see it. Obviously, this is one comment. I don't want to focus on it too much. I just want to call it out a little bit. If you find yourself thinking that, if you find yourself feeling those negative things, maybe try and take a step back and wonder, okay, is this really accurate right now? Is this really appropriate? And what's it going to make the other person feel or react? Um, then we got Danny, the music freak, who said, what kind of video is this? How to look smarter. Intelligence has nothing to do with your outward experience. There is no look that equals intelligence. I just lost any respect I had for you. <laughs> to which I actually said, lost that respect real quick. 
and hope he's watching this video right now and any of the other ones that might think the same thing. First of all, I mean, you may have not have that much respect for me if you lost it that quickly, which is fine in all honesty. But uh, same, same thing, like you can look smarter, yes, be smarter, I think. I made it pretty clear in the video that one is not the same as the other. If I didn't, I'm doing it right now. Which each concept completely unrelated to what I just was talking about, that uh, about the outfit that I'm wearing in the, in the video that he actually prefers low cut shoes rather than boots to the no break crop pants look. I actually agree. I looked at it after, I, I agree. Thank you for pointing it out. And uh, to all of you that may have thought the same thing, bravo, I, I, I completely agree. Um, Ahmed said, said, I don't know Marcel, it's kind of unusual to see you talking about stuff not related to style and fashion, but I still liked it anyway. I just hope you don't get to become so similar to other YouTube channels, cause as special as they may be, they are not so special, nothing but love. Thank you, man. First of all, I know nothing but love. I know you're part of the ODS squad. I um, just want to say that, of course, fashion is super important to me, but the connection between fashion and confidence is a huge thing. And for me, fashion is just kind of like the medium to hopefully inspire others to be more positive, to smile more, to embrace themselves more, to be more confident. So I would love to be talking about topics a lot wider, broader than just fashion. So I'm gonna try and explore this every now and then with a video like that. And I just think that, you know, fashion is just part of it. You can't, you can't, it's just not, that's where my core interest was when I started my blog and where I felt like I could talk, but it's about a lot more than just that. So now we talked about the title and I don't mean to be defensive. I'm gonna be honest with you, it did string a chord with me a little bit. That's why I'm, you know, focusing the, the common responses of today more towards that, but, the second thing was that, that people just seem to seem to get upset about the fact that uh, it's a three, four minute sponsor. First of all, the, the sponsor plug is not three, four minutes long. It's maybe like a couple minutes. I actually just was really excited to be talking about the effect that glasses do have on you. You, I think a lot of you have been a little bit conditioned in a bad way to react to certain YouTubers style of marketing products and whatever. I would urge you to just take a step back and really try and see that, again, a little bit more objectively. Am I really doing it just to get paid? Am I not really believing in the product? Am I really spending 40% of the time of the video on the product? I believe in all cases, it's no. One, I don't do it just to get paid. Do I have to get paid? Absolutely. I don't know if you guys realize how much time, effort, and money it is to uphold a YouTube channel that's heavy in fashion. Second, am I doing it because, even though I don't believe in the product? Absolutely not. I wear Jake Blacks literally constantly. Whether it's the blue light glasses or the sunglasses, I absolutely love the brand. So why shouldn't I spend a better half of the video or better part of the video on it? And reality is I really didn't. I didn't talk about the product. I more so talked about wearing glasses. So I hope you can look past it. I know I'm kind of nitpicky a little bit today on a few of the negative comments. The majority of the feedback, of course, was still positive. So thank all of you for supporting and for understanding the ones of you that do and did. But I wanted to take today to talk about the trolls, the haters, or even the ones that are just a little bit more critical of that particular video today just to clear some of those, some of that air that I think might pop up again in the future so I can just refer to them to this video at a specific time mark. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm sorry to make it a little bit more deep. Um, like I said, I just needed to get that off my chest a little. So thank you guys for watching. Regardless, leave comments down below because clearly I read all of them and I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always guys, stay dapper. Bye.